Montana had just started to take off. Today, local experts fear round two is on the way. Undoubtedly, the hardest part has been making phone calls to family members to tell them that their family members are dying. Even after five years in the Billings Clinic ICU, nurse practitioner Lynn Gordy's voice cracks when she talks about the calls she's had to make over the last year and a half, a job that, as of late, is seeing an uptick. I'm doing it a little less often, but I'm still doing it. So the phone calls don't get easier. The latest data show Billings hospitals are averaging more than 21 COVID-19 inpatients a day. About a third of those patients are in intensive care. They're coming in younger and getting sicker sooner. They're not casually ICU patients, right? These are really sick people that come and stay for a long time and have poor outcomes. We've ranged um, in the last couple weeks anywhere from 30s to 70s. You know, these are all not 70 and 80 year olds who are dying. Six Yellowstone County residents died in June, and so far in July, there have already been three. Yellowstone County Health Officer John Felton says with only 45 percent of the eligible residents vaccinated, the county is now averaging 15 to 16 new positive cases each day. When you think about that, 16 cases a day in a community our size doesn't seem like many, but then you start doing the math. Right? So. 16 cases a day is 100 cases a week is 5,000 cases a year. This thing is still here. It hasn't gone anywhere. In fact, Felton says the COVID-19 variants are just getting stronger and will continue to mutate as long as residents refuse to vaccinate. Of the 33 Delta variants detected in Montana, 14 are here in Yellowstone County. It's much more transmissible. Um, people have gotten really sick with it. It does appear that for all the variants, the current vaccines do a good job of protecting against severe disease, um, hospitalization, and death. Not 100%, but, but better certainly than not getting vaccinated. It's working. I would beg you, I would beg you to get your vaccine. I would encourage people to reach out to someone, maybe your primary care provider, um, you know, somebody that you trust in healthcare, and get some real knowledge about that vaccine. And if you're on the fence, do it. So then maybe she can eventually stop making those phone calls. In Billings, Janelle Slade, MTN News. Thanks, Janelle. Today, Pfizer asked the FDA if it would approve a third booster shot. The company says another shot within 12 months could dramatically boost immunity.